Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm unboxing my April uh, Petite Kit from the Wild Hair Kits. It is the beginning of the month, so it's unboxing time, all kinds of new things to play with. So this, uh, the Wild Hair Kits, I've been on their design team for a few months now. They are super awesome. It's a fun paper crafting, hand curated kit company. So basically what you do is you just go over to their website, you create a style profile, and then you can request either a Petite Kit or a Deluxe Kit. This month I got a Petite Kit. Um, and they custom pair different products from different lines and companies and things like that to suit your likes and products that you're working on and things like that. So I love all the fun things I've been exposed to that I wouldn't necessarily have bought for myself or have found or thought to pair with different products that I like. So this month, like I said, I got a petite kit and I didn't really have anything huge planned for the month. I kind of last minute put in my style profile for the design team. And so all I asked for was that it be products that coordinate with the Maggie Holmes Sunny Days collection because last month I got a deluxe kit with Sunny Days and then I also bought a bunch of Sunny Days collection um, for myself and I have tons of product left. So I just wanted things that I could mix and match and pair with those um, and kind of get through my stash. And there's so much fun stuff in this kit. I'm really, really excited. So you get a breakdown of um, the different products that you get. Uh, I got a little note just um, letting me know that, you know, products were picked to match the Sunny Days collection. And then she also threw in lots of neutral and faith-based six by six papers. So I did see on the Instagram account for Wild Hair Kits that they got some new um, faith-based products. For those of you who are Bible journaling and thinking about these kits for Bible journaling, um, I love that I can use regular paper crafting products in my Bible journal. And so there's some new products. So let's take a look at everything that came in my kit. I have my little thank you card. Um, happy crafting from Allison. And I have a puppy fur because this has been sitting on my desk for a few days. So um, what I have on the top here is the cut file. So when you order from the Wild Hair Kits, if you order a deluxe kit, you automatically get the cut file already cut out for you um, in your package. And then you also get a code that gives you access to not just this month's uh, cut file, but all the cut files that the Wild Hair Kit has done. If you order a petite kit, you don't get this cut out for you unless you specifically ask for it, but you do get that code that gives you access to all of the cut files. So if you have a silhouette or a Cricut or a Brother Scan and Cut, something like that, um, you can use these cut files to cut out of whatever you want. Um, this month is this really adorable little squatty bird, and so you could um, cut out different pattern papers and paper piece behind the bird and let this be kind of a focus point on a project. I think that is so, so adorable. Um, I plan on using this maybe in a Bible journaling entry uh, this month. So we'll kind of see what I do with that. All right, we have some washi tape. I'm all about that washi. I think I got a couple of rolls of washi tape last month too. So these are two of the washies from the Sunny Days collection, this really fun kind of pearlescent holographic uh, thin washi. And then this teal one that says, um, best day ever, loved this day. So this would be great for putting on photos if you're doing photo journaling, um, like pocket pages or any kind of regular scrapbooking. So really love that, love this holograph. I don't have anything like this in my stash. You can see it's got some pinks and teals which really go well with the colors of those collections. So I've got two rolls of those. Here are the six by six papers. I'm not sure, I don't remember what um, company these are from. It just says CD, but I don't remember which company, but um, so these are six by six from a paper pad, and this is that Faith collection she was talking about. So even though it's a Faith-based collection, there are some neutral patterns. So really fun, like pink paint swatches. This one here is really neat. So it's got all this typed font. Your grace is sufficient. Your power is made perfect um, in my weakness. Uh, Tr mercy triumphs over judgment, pray and pray some more. So really fun. You could cut these apart and use them as little um, word fetties on different projects or just use this as, you know, an entire pattern paper behind a photo or something like that. But I may go in and actually cut those apart and use those um, as sentiments on one of my projects. And this is like thick cardstock, almost like watercolor paper cardstock. So you could cut this apart and they would still have, you know, some substance to them. I even love the branding strip up here. It is perforated so you can tear it there. Um, it might be fun to kind of cut that apart and use that as well. 
this collection also has these amazing glitter papers. How awesome are these? And it doesn't seem to really rub off, so it's a nice quality glitter paper. There's this hot pink, this really pretty lilac color. Um, let's see here, and then this gold. All really reminding me of Easter. Lots of fun kind of Easter colors. I love using these with my different dyes and die cutting different shapes and words and things like that, but also great just for layering behind things or cutting tabs out of if you're doing Bible journaling. So I love, 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 love these colors. Really, really fun. Okay, so lots of six by six papers. You've got this fun little spotty dot pattern. And these are gonna be all colors that coordinate with the Sunny Days collection as well. So here's this really pretty floral um, print. This reminds me of the floral stamp from Creative Retreat Kits a few months ago. Um, so that would be fun to kind of pair with that really cute grid pattern. And this again is on that thicker, like almost like a watercolor cardstock. So it would be fun to go in and maybe watercolor some stamped images or something on this or just use it as a background. Love grid. This fun kind of minty colored texture. Ask, seek, knock. Yes, Lord, I am yours. You keep me in perfect peace. So lots of different pieces that you could cut out. Again, it's like that thicker. I love that it's got some thicker paper in it. Really awesome. This is super fun with the watercolor and like faux washi strips on there. Love it. This is definitely inspired by Bible journaling, I think, because it has a lot of the same kind of textures and images that we do in Bible journaling on pattern paper, which I love. And even the branding strip's cute with that grid pattern. And then this spotty dot with the mint kind of ink smushed background. Love those. Obsessed. I will definitely be using those in a variety of projects this month. Next up is this set of 40 die cut shapes from the Amy Tangerine collection. This is, I can't remember the name of this collection. This is, it says Stay Sweet. I'm not sure if that's the name of the collection, but I did get the cardstock stickers from this collection last month and they were adorable. It had this little cute little hedgy hog. Yep, he's in here too. Cute little hedgy hog. Fun little fish. This has lots of different like citrus elements. So limes and lemons, avocado, popsicles. And there are some like citrus pieces in the Sunny Days collection. So it pairs really well with that. Um, big floral piece, some fun tags. So again, great for Bible journaling. If you're wanting to use um, die cut pieces in your Bible journaling, there's a little hedgy hog, he's so cute. Um, this also has like a really pretty like copper or rose gold foil detail on some of the pieces. Love this collection, it is just adorable. Has me ready for spring and summer. Love the camera. Oh, so cute, summer vibes, little fishes. The fishes would be cute in a Bible journaling entry. Oh. Adorable, adorable. Cannot wait to use those. So you got 40 pieces in there. This is an awesome petite kit. There's a lot of stuff in here for a petite kit. Here are the Color Fresh Thickers. And I kind of think these are probably from Amy Tangerine as well. Nope, Heidi Swap. These are Heidi Swap Color Fresh. So um, Heidi Swap, Amy Tangerine, and Maggie Holmes all came out with collections this spring time that had very similar kind of color palettes and themes to them. So this is from the Heidi Swap collection. Love the pinks and oranges and that kind of limey green color. And we see that in the other collections as well. So this will pair really well with that. There are also numbers, hashtags, all kinds of fun things. I'm obsessed, I'm all about thickers and alphabets. I use them all the time in my titles. So these are awesome. And they have fun color, but they're neutral enough um, that you can kind of mix them and match them with other things. Okay, I also got a few sheets of um, 12 by 12 papers. So this is from the Saturday afternoon collection from One Canoe Two. Again, I would not necessarily pair this with the collections that I've already been using. I'm not really familiar with One Canoe Two, but this works perfect. You can see with these fun, bright, vibrant colors that are in these other collections. So I love that. I love the hexes. So you could kind of cut these apart and use them as a background element. Love that. And the back side is this really adorable ice cream. So I have found usually in my kits, Allison lays these out face up with the patterns that she's kind of intending to match, you know, what my style profile said. But you can always feel free to use the back. Sometimes it's the back and the front, but she's usually pretty good about laying them face up to match what she kind of has in mind for your style profile. So that's this one here, but then you've got this cute little ice cream cone with kind of this like dusty navy background. Love that. And even the branding strip is super cute. 
All right, this is from the Amy, Tan Amy Tangerine. It is the Stay Sweet collection. This is Flights of Fancy. So it's kind of this like purpley blue pattern. Really, really pretty. And then the back side, oh, it's really pretty. This like lavender um, pattern on the back side. Love that. Love um, patterns like this for layering behind photos um, and things like that. And then there is this pattern here. This is again from the Amy Tangerine Stay Sweet collection. Got all these fun little triangles, which would be fun to kind of cut, um, fussy cut out or um, use bits and pieces of. It almost looks like, like a dried up marker or like watercolor paint that they created them with. So there's some texture, it's really cute. And then the back side are these fun cameras. So these you could use, you know, fussy cut out, um, but I'll probably be using this side of the paper. So there's a look, the petite kit, lots of goodies for a petite kit. I've got some 12 by 12 papers, some die cuts, thickers, lots of fun six by six papers, some of them being like specialty papers, um, the two rolls of washi tape and my um, cut file this month. So that is awesome. So there's a look at my petite kit for April. I will be popping in with lots of different projects throughout the month. Again, mixing and matching with stuff from my stash, including my kit from last month with the Sunny Days collection. Um, you can customize these kits however you want. So if you like my kit, you can always request similar items. They can't guarantee that they can recreate this exact kit. Um, it's based off the products that they have, but you can always, you know, fill out your style profile. And I love that you get things that you like and not, um, not, I can steer away from certain things that I don't like. You can have a spot in the style profile where you can mention things that you don't want. So I love that. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to the wild hair kits and um, stay tuned throughout the month. I will be having process videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.